Hi viewers, in this video I am going to show you how to tune the POD controller. There are various methods to tune the POD controller, but I am going to show you the very most primitive method of tuning the POD controller. So one of that method is the Sigler Nicholas method. In the Sigler Nicholas method we are just approximating the value of KP, KI and KT. Because we need to tune the plant, we need to tune the plant to get the proper responses. Just imagine that your plant is a rocket. So you cannot account any error in launching the rocket because any kind of error that lead to some uncontrolled launching or some it may lead to some explosions. So which we cannot want to happen in our real life. So before that I just here I am going to model a plant system. So I am going to use the transfer function model of the plant. Just imagine that. Uh, this is the transfer function uh, model representation that often used in uh, the MATLAB. I'm using the MATLAB 2016 version here. So S transfer function and uh, open the bracket and in between the single code use S. This is the uh, the way to represent uh, uh, there's a complex plane in uh, MATLAB. And I'm going to represent the, the plant. My plant is system is 1 by s power 2 plus 20 s plus 100 this is the plant if you just run the hit you can see that yes this is a continuous time transfer function so 1 by s square plus 20 s plus 100 this is this is my plant and uh, now i just used the step function uh, for uh, plotting the step response of the plant so when I give a step input to the plant what would be the output so this command will plot the step response of the system so just hit the run button you can see that this is the step response of the system and here you can see that uh, uh, my step input is 1 but uh, the steady state value is 0 0.01 and this is the plant response is very very sluggish and this is not the response we want the we want the steady state value to be one and it should it need to be reached very quick, quickly and for that i need to i need to i need to keep one uh, controller just before the plant just see this diagram this is your process the process is your system and uh, now I am going to place one controller just before this process that is a PID controller so with a unity feedback and the PID controller will process the error it will just proportionate the error and integrate the error and differentiate the error to improve the response of this process and in our MATLAB the command we used a system instead of process so don't get confused and this is a step point here I just excite I just produce the step input uh, but I I what the output I received is 0 0.01 so this is a 1.01 the one is input 0.01 is output so a lot of error so I would just want to minimize the all the error and I'm going to place one controller just before the process and just imagine that I don't know the value of KP, KI and KD and in Sigler Nicholas method what I'm going to do is I will pick up the approximate value of KP, KI and KD so that the process will produce better output. Let's see how to do this in MATLAB. So the our output was just like this S curve it's a reaction curve and using this react reaction curve I am going to sort of find the exact value of KPK and KD that is not exact that is an approximate value of KPK and KD and here you can see that K stands for the what is the steady state value of the response and L is uh, the delay time and T is the time constant of the system and here you can see that um, the, we just draw a tangent line and the where the tangent line hit the x-axis that is uh, uh, that is uh, uh, the delay time and just extrapolate the x-axis and uh, when it hit the k line you can see that 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 is the that is the time constant of the system so now I am going to find what is the k l and t of the system and from that values I just 
come to my KB and K radio values. Now uh, hit the run buttons. So your the figure is here. Just go to the figure editor and uh, just draw a tangent. I'm going to draw a tangent of this curve, the S curve. So this is the tangent. As by looking clearly at this x-axis, we can see that this is a point one, and this comes around to point zero two five, point zero two five, and uh, so what is this time? This times comes around. This is comes around point three. Point three is three hundred millisecond. And the value of k equal to 0 0.01. The value of k equal to 0 0.01 and t equal to 0 0.025. And this sorry, l equal to 0 0.025 and t equal to 0 0.3 minus l. So let's go back to the MATLAB. So the k equal to 0 0.01. That is the, the steady state value of uh, that function, that 0 0.01. And next. Uh, the L, L stands for uh, the delay time. The delay time is L equal to 0 0.025. Let us take 0 0.025. This is an approximate value, KLT. Then what is a T? The T is, uh, um, just go to here, and T is equal to 0 0.3. So from 0 0.3, just minus, subtract the value of L. So these are the value of K, L and T. Now using this K, L and T, I'm going to turn, I'm going to find the value of K, P, K and K, D. So for that, there is an approximate formula. Just see that. So this is one of the reference paper that is connected to the signal and equalized tuning method. And now I am going to find the value of KP, KI and KD of uh, the PAD controller. So what is a KP? KP is 1.2 times um, a and ti is 2l 2 times the delay and the td is uh, um, the half of the delay time so so what are the value of uh, what is the ti and td so for that uh, we will go back and so here you can see that this is the, the controller kp ki and kd so k i here is nothing but kp by ti and kd is kp into td so we use this formula so kp so we have three constant kp ki and kd so what is kp so just kp is 1.2 times a 1.2 by a so what is ki ki is kp by ti kp by ti so what is kd kd is kp into td kp into T D is now what is A, what is T I and what is T D? A equal to just A equal to K L by T K into L by T and what is T I? ti is 2 times l what is td td is l by 2 so look at this this is not small t this is capital t yes the the finally the kpki values of the controller is uh, 
approximated now i am going to use the controller so the controller is the pid controller just uh, specify the values of the parameters used for the the proportional uh, integral and derivative constant those are the kp comma ki comma so kd just uh, run this file you can see that yes so so this is a controller kp plus ki 1 by s plus kd into s so these are the value of kp and ki and kd i'm going to place this controller just before the plant so our plant is the system and for that i'm going to use the feedback the controller is just before the the plant and i'm using a of unity feedback then i'm going to find i'm just going to plot what is the step response of this plant now see this one yes this is the step response of your plant and now i'm going to compare this one with the previous without the controller so this was the without controllers i just put figure here and here also same figure and just run the button yes you can see that the difference between this is the response of the system without the pid and this is the response of the system with pid i just used the approximate value of kp and kid using signal link colas method and you try to use this same method to immediately tuning the pid values and you can see that how good the second so second in second response set the final steady state value is one but here in the steady state value is 0.01 there are there are a significant difference between these two uh, responses so uh, so you just try to uh, uh, solve your uh, the try to tune the pid controller using the signal necrolas method if you're hurry and all these uh, descriptions are given all these uh, codes are given in the description and uh, that my reference paper is also in the description so try try coding and and develop your pid controller thank you